So the Los Angeles Clippers got pretty much the worst break you can possibly get by losing Chris Paul and Blake Griffin to injury in the same night against the Portland Trailblazers. And now their chances of winning a title this year are pretty much done. And uh, it's been quite a few years in a row now. The Clippers have had some disappointing postseason results. Of course, last season they uh, blew it against the Houston Rockets when they had a huge lead and they could have gone on to the conference finals. And, uh, well, a credible source, by that I mean Zach Lowe, spoke to Doc Rivers earlier this season and Doc said that if they have another tough end to the year, he might consider breaking up the big three of Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, and Blake Griffin, and apparently Blake Griffin would be the guy to get traded, and I guess he would think that if he could trade Blake for a, a two-way small forward as well as a, a couple of guys who can really help them off the bench, I guess Doc's rationale is that would be better for the team. Do I agree with trading Blake Griffin? No, I don't. Not at all. That guy's one of the 15 best players in the league. He's awesome at finishing inside. He's super athletic. His post-game is kind of awkward, but he still makes it work. He's improved on the mid-range game. His free throws are good. I don't think trading Blake Griffin or Chris Paul or DeAndre Jordan is the way for the Clippers to go moving forward. Because when you have three guys who are that good... You just gotta stick with it, in my opinion. But, the Clippers do need some sort of an alternative when it comes to building a team who can actually win, because outside of those top three guys, their roster really isn't that great. Like, J.J. Reddick's a good shooter, and he's at least serviceable on defense, he puts a lot of effort in there. But, you know, guys like Jamal Crawford, yeah, the guy might put up some points, but he doesn't play much defense, he looks off open teammates, and he doesn't shoot well from the field. There, of course, was the Lance Stevenson, Josh Smith thing that didn't work. Jeff Green, in theory, is a good player, but he he's not assertive at going to the rim. He can't shoot threes, and he can't um, he's not a great defender either. And so as a result of all this, it is going to be tough for the Clippers to insert themselves into the same rank as uh, Golden State, San Antonio, and Oklahoma City in the Western Conference. But I don't think trading any of their big three is going to be the way to get them there. I think they're going to have to just do a better job of getting guys around those three. And I think you can start in free agency this season. If the salary jumps up to $90 million, the salary cap, that's going to give them about $6.1 million to play with, which is really not going to be much. However, if Paul Pierce decides to retire, and I think there is a legitimate chance of that happening because... He sucked this year, let's be honest. But if a few guys turn down some player options on top of that and you manage to be able to trade away guys like CJ Wilcox, then you might be able to creep up to about 11 or $12 million. And then I think you could go for a legitimate player. And I think um, one guy who I think would do awesome on the clips is uh, Lou Aldang, who's currently on Miami. He's not as good as he once was, but he's still one of the better defensive players in the league. He shot 45% from the field, and he shot 35% from three. That's exactly what they need out of that small forward spot, because that's been the one position that's really hurt them. At times, they used Jamal Crawford at that three spot. I don't think that's going to work. Paul Pierce could have been the option, but just one year too late with him. Now, they also have another opportunity, because they do have their draft pick this season, and if they choose to use the pick... They're really going to have to knock it out of the park. They're going to have to find a diamond in the rough in the 20s who can be an athlete and potentially hit the outside shot for them off the bench. I mean, it's possible to do. Miami found Josh Richardson. These are the kind of things that you need to be able to do. It's just Doc the GM has not shown the best ability to um, realize talent. But at the same time, if they chose to trade that pick away... If you could get somebody who's on a two- or three-year deal who you know is good, I wouldn't hesitate to do it. I'm not going to lie, though. They're in a tough spot, the Clippers, because they don't have a lot of salary to play with, and they're kind of capped out in terms of talent. But I just think trading Blake Griffin or DeAndre or Chris Paul, it's just going to set them back too much. I don't think you can trade Blake Griffin for a couple of guys who could help you out and get better. I just don't think it's possible. I could be wrong, but I don't think you can do that. So this is the route you have to go. And like I mentioned, getting someone like Lou Dan could help you out. There's a few other guys available. I mean, there's Kent Bazemore if you could afford him. 
if you can't get a big name, I mean, there's Courtney Lee, who I mentioned in all of these because the guy's awesome as a role player. Clips need those two-way players who can shoot. But I really think they need to address that small forward spot, which is why I talk about somebody like Luel Deng. But you want to know another reason why I feel you don't trade Blake Griffin or any of their top three? Steph Curry just got hurt. And now the Warriors, without Steph, they're still great, but they're not head and shoulders above everybody else. And then there's talk that Durant might not be an OKC after next year or two years from now. These are the reasons why you don't get rid of Blake Griffin. You're not too far away. You're just kind of in this weird spot where it's tough to kind of break through and get over the top. But, but I do think it's possible. I think their draft pick on top of the salary cap room that they're going to have, it's got to be the first start, and Doc Rivers has to get better as a GM. He also has to get better as a coach, to be honest here. The guy runs so many mid-range plays for Blake Griffin. The hell is that? Like, get Blake Griffin into the post, run that horn set with CP3, Blake, and DeAndre because nobody can defend it. But, well, Blake and CP3 are injured this year. I hope Doc doesn't trade Blake Griffin. If he does, well, then he did it and I can't stop him. But I don't think it's the way to go. So that's going to do it. I think the Clippers have an opportunity to insert themselves among the top teams in the league, but... They don't exactly have a lot of wiggle room, but I think trading one of their top three guys is just not going to do them any favors. So that's it. I'm out.